and welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be covering the new system for, well, part of the new system for uh, rotating blocks and stuff like that. I think there's a little bit more um, things that you can do with it, so I'll probably be doing a separate tutorial on that uh, if I can figure it out. So uh, basically what we're going to be covering is block rotation and uh, how to do that with one single block and uh, just a procedure. So before what you would have to do is have a bunch of block states and um, or yeah block states and then you have to rotate it based on the um, the way the player was rotating and stuff like that. This is going to be a little bit different as you can basically rotate it um, based on the um, the blocks itself so uh, when I actually go into game it will be a little bit easier to explain but uh, to set that all up uh, what you're first going to need is a block of actually lettered the um, the faces so it's easier to understand so we have up down left uh, front right and back so uh, what you're gonna have to do is actually set the rotation somehow I have it on currently uh, rotation from player side now you can have any type of rotation but you're gonna have to have a rotation of some kind so that's going to be important when you're actually rotating it um, it might not work with log rotation I haven't tried that but I know that it works with um, all directions so it might work with um, uh, block uh, face rotation as well so this one down here but the default one that I started working with was player side right here. And basically that's all you need uh, for settings. I have pretty much everything else set to the default outside of the just disabling the tick rate and um, you know just configuring it to be something like a normal block that you would have. And uh, you're going to want uh, your procedure uh, for a right click event uh, for this particular tutorial. However, you can have it in any way you want it, um, as long as it is set up so when the block is actually interacted with or something happens, then it will do something to rotate it. So once uh, you have that all set up, uh, what you want to do is click next, click next, and uh, you want to compile it. The procedure is very simple and straightforward. Um, like this is probably one of the most simplest uh, procedures I've actually had to work with uh, recently. So um, basically what's going on here is it's testing for a the block direction. So it's like saying uh, is a block direction at the current location, so where it's being right clicked on, um, equal to the down section, like down uh, down rotation. If it's down, then it will uh, set the direction of the block to the current block location and set it to up. So, and then if it's up, then it will set it to north and so on. And it just goes into one big massive loop because when it gets down to east, it sets it back to down and then it starts at the top again. So that's basically all that's going on here. Um, to set this up, uh, it's pretty straightforward. I'll provide the um, the actual workspace for you guys to download as well as the procedure and everything like that. So um, what you need is an if statement. So we'll start with that. And then what you wrote a uh, logic, was it logic in loop? No, it was operators. And then you want to grab one of these uh, new red operators. That's uh, the same color as the direction. And then what you want to go to is a block and then get block location and I believe under Minecraft components there is a direction and then you want to select that and then you have your first part set up to set the block direction what you want to do is go back to block and then you want to scroll down until you see the one with the red operator or the red uh, component down here and it says set direction of block at and then the current coordinates and then set to down and then what you would do is you would set this to something else so like that and that will if it's down then it'll set it to up so that's basically how that's all set up um, like I said before though there is some extra um, 
things, there's also entity direction, so this might play a crucial role in actually testing for a little bit more advanced things. I still need to play around with that part, but um, it'll be interesting to see what I can come up with with um, the entity rotation and everything like that. I might be able to make doors after I figure that out. So once you have all this set up, um, I've covered if statements recently. So basically, um, just to recap, uh, you can add uh, if else statements and create multiple conditions uh, for uh, that same uh, thing. You're going to need a total of six because there's six sides per block, and then you're just going to set it up like so. So, so once you have that done, uh, let's hop in game, and I'll show you how it all works. All right, so we're now in game and I have the block right here. So uh, to basically place it down, you place it down like any other block. And as you can see, it kind of rotate, rotates it based on the uh, rotation the player's at. So uh, front's always facing the player, unless they're kind of a little bit up with that. So uh, basically what we have it set up to do is it's a right click event so we're just going to right click on it and as you can see it rotates the block. So it's changing the direction each time. Um, it will do this in a loop so I'm just trying to find a side that's easier to read. This one's a little bit easier to read so as you can see it goes all the way through. So it starts with down and then it goes all the way through and back. So uh, that's basically how it all works. and. Uh, 